That is not good. Somebody isn't doing their job. You see what they've done to my plant? Overnight, I didn't see him yesterday, which means he was somewhere, because this is the only tomato plant over here. But look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna toss him over the deck, and then what will happen with him is the Orioles that are all over here, we'll get him. I can put him there, but they'll see him on the ground, he's so big. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. It's like my third or fourth one I have found. Oh my goodness, aren't they? They're so big. Uh, anyways, if I toss them over here, we've had the Orioles here all morning. They'll come get it. I'm not going to be able to do this, this daily vlog today really long. I've got the weed whackers out there. They're doing their thing and they're working on the house. And not much today. I'm going to go work on the front yard before it gets too hot because we're going to be really hot. So I'm going to work on the front yard. I want to stake up some of my tomatoes. I have tomatoes everywhere. And what's the great thing is, I didn't have to plant most of them. Most of them are coming up on their own. I think I have a, look at that. I've got a gold one. California gold, cool. That's what I don't want. Look at the hummingbird up here. I don't want to get the hornworms on there. I mean, you know, the plant, it's really, I mean, it's got its issues. I haven't watered it good enough, so it's been getting the, the end of the tomato is kind of like a blossom end rot. That's what the word I was looking for. Some of them are fantastic and beautiful. I mean, look at them. They've been just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. But the problem is, I forget. <laughs> I don't always come out in water. So when it gets dry and then wet and then dry and wet, you can end up with that. So I'm just going to trim those off. Get rid of him. I'll just go over the deck and... And that's basically it for today. And like I said, I'm going to work on a few more videos that I want to put together. I've got like a folder that says five videos. Five videos. Five videos. Like just simple ones that I was going to just throw up. And it's a matter of, well, you know, you've got to put them together. You've got to render them. Then you've got to render them right so YouTube can get them. And they've got to upload. So I want to do, all, do some of that. Isn't that cute? I love the hummingbirds. Absolutely. Oh, he just flew off. Oh, he's over at the feeders. That's my life, Fe filling hummingbird feeders all day. So that's gonna be it for today. I don't plan on going anywhere. The phone doesn't stop ringing. I had somebody call from the Netherlands today. I didn't answer. I don't know anybody. The only person I had friends with, she's gone now and she was in the Netherlands and the phone keeps ringing. What do they call about? My car insurance. Uh, they call about my Apple computer. I don't have my Macintosh. They call about my timeshare that I don't have. I mean, this is like, no joke, there must be 30 calls a day come in. So that's basically it. So I'm going to finish the front yard and get the tomatoes staked. I'm spotting in some squash. I'm putting in some cocozelles out there, zucchini. My big thing is I want to get zucchini growing everywhere because I use more zucchini than anything. And I'm going to start freezing some so I will have it when I don't have zucchini. I don't have to worry right now because we still have many, many months that we can still grow. Look at all the tomatoes. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this. Look at this. Just, oh, see, this one's almost ripe. That's the color these get. So I, um, I don't know what that is. Gary? Kitty, is that you? I don't know what that is. Can you hear it? I don't know what it is. Gary's not working on the deck. I don't. I don't know. I keep. I hear a hammer. Wait, wait. Gary's not working on the deck. He's working on the tree over there. He's taking out a tree. Let's see if we can see him from here. And then I'm going to have to figure out what that noise is. I don't think we can see him from here. If you see there, th oh yeah, there he is. We had three pine trees. Now I didn't plant them, but I actually know the person that did. And they got massive. One of them was too close to those power lines. So they came out a while back I think, you know, I'm so bad on time with everything that's gone on. I think it's been about two, three years now. 
They offered to take out two, even the one that's wiggly, but I didn't want to. I know they're bad for the garden, but you know how fortunate I am to have beautiful pine trees growing? So I let them take, well, I, not me, Gary told them to take the one out. It costs like a thousand plus dollars to remove a tree, and they came and they removed the tree. But there's a pepper tree that's growing there, and Gary did take it down. Let me see if we can zoom in. I can't see him. I know he's doing that, which means he's not hammering under the deck. He's there somewhere. The hummingbird's flying everywhere. So he decided the pepper tree has to go because it's going to cause a lot of issues. So that's what he's doing today. I thought he was under the deck. Oh, I see the little pole going up off and on. There's the Orioles there. That's a young Oriole on the top. Let me zoom in and see if you can see it. I am staying home today. I haven't gone anywhere. I've gone like four times out of the house. There he Where'd he go? He's still there. And yet I don't see him. You probably are saying, there he is. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going to go into the tree. There are all just tons of Orioles. We have, well, not as many Orioles as we have hummingbirds, but close to it because they come here and have nests after nests of their babies. And they know which feeders they can feed out of. This one's empty again. See, this one's got larger holes and they can get their beak in there. And I also make some of the feeders. See, this is what happens. It's so hot. It's between the heat and the bright sunlight I should have I should just tape this or wire this on that slows down the fountain it's kind of see actually I should make a square one oh so it's gonna fit good just it got so windy and there's another way of doing this too just turn it the other way no it's not gonna be quite as bad or create a little shade now it's going to run really slow, see? Just a little shade it needs. It doesn't need to be so high powered for these little guys. Does it? Right in front of me. You're like two feet in front of me. So I'm going to go see what's going on because this is weird. Let's go take it. Let's go in the house for a minute and see what's going on. So I'm going to finish the front yard, finish my squash, stake up the tomatoes. Let's just kind of peek in here real quick. And my projects I'm working on. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh. Can you see that? That's unbelievable. I'm looking through the screen so I don't upset that bird. That bird is going to take my deck down. He is hammering and hammering and hammering. Well, now you and I know what is going on. It is a bird that has decided to take the deck down. Actually, what he's doing is he's... It's a she, it's a female Nuttles, and she, it's a woodpecker, and she's looking for insects. Well, that's my cue. She's hammering, get off the deck, go do what you have to do, and that's what I'm going to do. So I just wanted to say, hey, hi, and I'm going to let Gary do his thing. He is removing a small, well, it's a big trunk, but a small, low pepper tree, and I'm going to go back in the garden and get work done before it gets too hot. So with that... Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you have a fun day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. That's a first. I've never seen them do that on the deck. Well, now I know what that noise is once in a while when I hear it. How cool.